So these two blades have been out for quite some time now. The Zhangjika Super ZLC and the Mitsutani Super ZLC, both coming in at 350 euros. However, Butterfly released the new Super ZLC blade, which is the Harimoto Super ZLC. Now, interestingly with this blade, it's very different to the previous Super ZLC blades in that it's an inner force style of blade. So there's two outer plies of wood and then the Super ZLC carbon on the Harimoto. Whereas on the Zhangjika and Mitsutani line, there's one outer ply of wood and then the Super ZLC carbon, meaning that there's less wood before the carbon impact when you're playing. With the inner force, there's two layers of outer wood and then the carbon. So a completely new style of blade here by Butterfly. We both paired it with the Tenny G05 on the forehand and Dignix 09C on the backhand. Let's get into it. So here we go then with the new Harimoto Inner Force Super ZLC. Now, for those that have tried the Zhangjika Super ZLC, well, no, it almost feels like you're literally playing with a sheet of carbon with no outer ply of wood. It's rapid. However, with the Harimoto Super ZLC, I was expecting somewhat of a similar feel, but was very surprised. Because of the blade has its two outer pliers of wood protecting that Super ZLC layer, you do have a lot more wood feeling when compared to the Zhangjika blade. Similar to that of a traditional inner force blade, but with a lot more speed and crisper contact. You know what I'm finding interesting, right? The Super ZLC, fast, great for blocking. I'm really getting really? a good feeling, yeah. yeah I, mean, I thought it was going to shoot out, you know, like be really too quick. Yeah. And that's what I found with the Zhangjika Super ZLC. It's, like, it's very fast. Tough for blocking. A bit like the BioLC, tough for blocking. But this actually still sucks it up. So this Harimoto Inner Force with the Super ZLC Carbon, just because it's got the two outer pliers of wood, doesn't mean it's geared towards control, it's definitely not. It's more of an offensive carbon blade than a controlled one like you get with the Inner Force ALC. So what really does separate these two Super ZLC blades? Well it's the dwell and the feeling you get. So the two outer pliers of wood on the Harimoto help greatly for generating spin. And this is a clear difference between the two. The Janjika Super ZLC, the dwell time is very short, whereas the Harimoto Super ZLC, the dwell time is longer, so you have better feel for spin. And many times, actually, me and Tom won a lot of points through spin rather than just all out pace like you used to get with the Janjika Super ZLC. Alright guys, so here I've got the Zhangjika Super ZLC and then the Harimoto Super ZLC. Compare the two? Let's see. Alright, so Zhangjika Super ZLC first. Oh, nice. It's just so fast. Yeah. I can like feel that carbon hit, you know. You can hear the carbon. Yeah, yeah, you didn't want to control it. Yeah. Whereas the Harimoto version, let's see. You can hear it sink in more. You just feel the ball sink into the back more. Yeah. Again, that just comes down to what you like, your preference. Yeah. Some people like that feeling of it shooting off with that carbon feel. And me personally, I prefer a more dulled down feeling, like a more wood type feeling, where the carbon is like an inner carbon blade. Yeah, yeah. I prefer that style, and it just comes down to what you what you like. Yeah. It's just funny how rapid the Shandika Zuba said OC is. So quick. It's just like, just pure carbon and the, like I said, I really thought the Harimoto Super Seto C, I was like, oh no, here we go. It's gonna be like a Zhangji yeah, super yeah. quick. But it's just got a lot of feeling, and uh, so it's, it's nice. Yeah, this feeling also helps with counter top spins. The arc you get is low to medium, which helps in handling incoming spin. Whoa, what a shot. Yeah. Got it! The advantages to an inner force style blade, in general when compared to a traditional outer carbon blade, is you have more feeling and forgiveness. Now this is what makes the Harimoto Super ZLC interesting, because Butterfly have combined a very fast carbon sheet inside two layers of wood. Now I'm sure you can all expect this one, but when it comes to serve and receive, the Harimoto Inner Force Super ZLC is much easier to use than the Zhangjika Super ZLC. With the Zhangjika blade, it pings off straight off the bat, giving you very little room for error. Whereas with the Harimoto, you are getting a good level of forgiveness, even though it's not loads, as it's still a very fast, responsive blade. <coughs> 
So there we go guys, there was the Harimoto Inner Force Zuper ZLC Blade Review. And as I said throughout, I've got to say it's got a lot more control and feeling than I first thought, seeing that it's got the Super ZLC carbon. The two outer plies of wood really do help and give it that feeling and touch that you do need for such a fast blade. And yeah, when you go back to the Zhangjika Super ZLC, you can really notice difference in terms of the carbon feel. It's a lot quicker. This one, the Inner Force, does have more control. All right then, so let's see how this Harimoto Super ZLC stacks up in the T2D Blade Ratings. So as you can see here right away, the speed is less on the Harimoto Super ZLC. The outer ply is dampening that Super ZLC carbon. Where it really separates from the Zhangjika is the flex. The Harimoto is less stiff, coming in at eight, whereas the Zhangjika is very hard, coming in at 5.5. Obviously, neither of these blades have amazing control, but topspins are just better with the Harimoto, simply because there's a good amount of speed, but also more forgiveness. Where I was surprised with the Harimoto Super ZLC was in its passive gain, such as the blocking. You know, the outer pliers provide decent feeling. This also helped in the serve and receive department, as the ball doesn't shoot off too quickly, so you don't lose out on too much touch. So there we go guys, there was a good look at the Harimoto Super ZLC. Now, as we mentioned at the start, this is Butterfly's most expensive blade out, the Super ZLC line as a whole, the Zhangjiga Mitsutani, and the Harimoto, the most expensive out at 350 euros. And I guess the question is, is this worth the upgrade to the regular ZLC Inner Force blade, such as the Apollonia or the Harimoto ZLC, the regular one? For me personally, I prefer the regular ZLCs. There's just more control about them. You still get good amount of speed, but with the, the Super ZLCs, they, they are at the real top end of speed and there is less control. So you do have to have good feeling and, and touch in comparison to the Inner Force ZLC versions. And actually, I like this so much that I've started using this recently. I've got rid of my Bow LC. Bow LC, you know, it's very, it's quick in the short game. It feels great, but it is a bit fast at times. And going to something like this, the regular Inner Force ZLC, you do feel nice control around the net for the speed that you get. So yeah, I'll keep you posted how I get on with that. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you've tried a Super ZLC blade from Butterfly. Let us know what you think of it and what other rubbers and blades you'd like to see us review next. As always, guys, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, Plenty more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.